All right, woo! I just got done with a fit camp, and oh, man, that shit was hard <laughs> because I didn't have any water when I was out there working out, and it's about 102 degrees over here, and it's just horrible. So, and I'm home alone right now. My sister, my little sister, is uh, with her cousin, and I don't know where they were. I think my mom went to go pick them up somewhere. Because I had dropped them off at their dance practice. Uh, but as of right now, I'm here alone. And <clears throat> I'm just trying to... I wanted to make a video and relax a little bit. Here. Re relax a little bit. So... Man. So I had made a deal with my sponsor. That I was going to do 100 flyers every day. Well, where I get my flyers, which is the library, it closed. When I went over there, um, I uh, my sponsor had sent me the email. My sponsor had sent me the email about where the flyers were. And so, I went to the library to go get on my email so I can print out the, the flyers there. And of course, you got to pay, like, maybe it's like a nickel or... A nickel a page, I think, so it would come out to like a dollar if I was doing a hundred. So about two dollars if I was doing two hundred. No, maybe two two dollars. No, one dollar for two hundred, something like that, uh, for two hundred flyers, which means like a couple, a, a good a good amount of pages. But uh, I went to the library, and this was Friday, I believe. Yeah, it was Friday, and uh, I went to the library, and. I was gonna get on my email, you know. I had signed up to get a, a library card, which I don't know where it is. <laughs> but uh, I went to to the library to go sign up for a library card. You know, get on the computers there, and I only had 15 minutes to do it. Okay, and keep in mind that I had changed my passwords to all my things, right? Just to make them a little a little complicated. So, and I put all my passwords on a piece of paper that I have here at the house took off to the library to go get on my email and I forgot that my passwords were on a piece of paper here at the house and I only have 15 minutes over there and keep in, also keep this in mind my house isn't close to the library so I was over there at the library and I was just like well damn you know, that's Saturday and Sunday I won't get to hand out flyers. So, I mean, I was just out of luck then. And I was going to hand out, I was going to print out 300 flyers. So I can do 100 that Friday and then do it Saturday and then do it Sunday. And then on Monday I go back and, you know, go print out more and just cut them out. Well, <clears throat> I didn't get to hand out the flyers Saturday and Sunday. So I was just out of luck. And I already handed the... Before, I already had handed the, the ones for Friday out. I already handed those out. So, I wasn't able to keep my word on that, which really sucked. And I wanted to try and create a new schedule to try and, you know, get these things going. Get these, you know, 100 out every day. And try to hit them and knock them out early. So, <clears throat> I today was just Monday. when And I'll probably post this today. I'm not too sure. But, uh, today... I my, I was telling my mom about it, right? Because I went to go get my girlfriend's printer. And she had ink in there that wasn't good. You know, I tried deep cleaning it, cleaning it, whatever. The black ink, the blank, the black ink wouldn't just work. And so I was like, well, damn, now I'm going to have to go buy some. And then she was telling me that, my girlfriend was telling me that she had some at her house. And I was like, okay, well, I'll go pick some up. And then, this is where fucking hell broke loose. She pissed me off. Because she was... What she told me was for me to go buy it. Right? I understand that, you know, yeah, I'm going to be using the ink. But she's not going to use it. She's at her house, and she's just not going to be using it. So... I was like, well, let me go over and I'll go and pick up the ink. And she's like, no. She's like, you go buy your own. I don't want to, I don't, she was like, 
why do I have to be providing for you? And I was just like, like, are you serious? Like, are you being serious with me right now? Like, I, like, like, what the fuck? You know, it, it, it pissed me off. And I was like, well, shit, you know, I got, I, you know, I went to your house to go get your printer and you won't even let me use the ink. Like, what the fuck? And so I have her printer right now and I'm about to, after I'm done with this video, I'm going to call her up and just be like, you know, like, hey, are you free? So I'm going to go give you back your printer because I don't need it. You know, my mom, <clears throat> yeah, my mom, she, uh, was actually really kind enough to, she, because I was telling her what had happened with me and my girlfriend about the whole printer thing, and why, I, why, I don't know why she wouldn't let me use her ink for some reason, I guess she's just tired of me or something, whatever, but, uh, I, I'm trying to make it, you know, I'm trying to do something here, you know, the, you you get back what you put in, you know what I mean? You get back what you put in and work. I'm out there handing out hundreds of flyers a day, or trying to do a hundred flyers a day, and it's just, you know, I'm not getting any support. And my mom, luckily, she was like, she she works at an office, right? So she works in an office, and she was like, hey, you know, I'll print them out for you. And I was like, really? Like you do that? And she was like, yeah. I'll print them out, um, and so I was like, okay, so I, I sent her the email with, uh, the email that my buddy Jacob had sent me, so she had printed them out, you know, black, white, color, both, you know, she gave me them both, and, uh, and so I didn't get to do my 100 today because I got my flyers so late, and it's, it's late right now, so I'm not really gonna go out there and do it. But I will, I told myself early tomorrow, I'm going to get a head start and just go and knock out. I'm going to try and do 100 flyers again. Or I am going to do 100 flyers again. I'm going to do 100 flyers, try to knock out another 100 flyers if I can. And then we got this HOM that we're doing, which is a Herbalife Opportunity Meeting. And I got someone already that I'm going to invite over there so that way they can hear everybody's testimonial. They hear, they hear about the business, the products. And it's just going to be awesome. So that that will be good. You know, <clears throat> I'm just starting, like, you know, I'm fresh out of high school. Been out of school for about two months already. You know, no job. I'm trying to make this something with the YouTube and with the Herbalife. You know, I'm trying to put in a lot of work. And you know, it's hard, you know, when your girlfriend doesn't like what you're doing. She's seeing no results. And I'm just like, all right, you know. End it if you want. Because I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. You know, this is what I love to do. Because I get to go out there, hand out flyers, talk to new people. Uh, and the one of the main things is work out. I've been, I've been working out all my life, you know, like basically everyone. But I was always a fat kid when I was young. So growing up and, you know, being that big, you know, you get picked on, you get bullied. And I, my dad was the one to always tell me, you know, if they start picking on you, you know, fuck them up. You know, he goes, he goes, I don't care if I have to pay these fines, I don't care. As, as long as you stand up for yourself. And I was like, you know, just looked at him like, okay. <laughs> so, you know, blank face, okay. And then so, you know, I was in a San Jacinto. I was in San Jacinto school. I was in a school. And, you know, I, I was there till from elementary to fourth grade right so I had a bunch of friends that I knew and that's when my uh, family my my parents were starting to split so they were starting to break apart you know so they were getting divorced so once they got their divorce to ever settled and everything happened I was going on to the fifth grade this other school I, I was moving with my mom to my grandma's house and I had to go to this brand new elementary school right or not elementary school yeah right yeah elementary school and uh so I was going into the fifth grade in a new school. And yeah, you know, I you know what? Hold I'm gonna show you a picture real quick on what I look like. See look at me now. You see me right here? I'm gonna show you a picture on what I used to look like. Okay, so these are a bunch of pictures from my graduation. I had a graduation party and and this isn't me in fifth grade. This was me probably like in 
I think around in sixth. No, yeah, I think it was fifth grade. But this was me when I was when I was younger. Seeing I'm already getting the hair, but watch. I'm gonna show you these pictures. See, there's that picture. That's what I used to look like. And then there's that picture. Yeah, I'm the big fat one. That's me right there. Right there. So those are two pictures on what I used to look like. And then uh, as, I, as I was growing up, you know, you get picked on and stuff. Like I said, you know, I went to this new, I went to this new elementary school. And there's, there was these two, these two main guys that I'm really good friends with now. I don't talk to them anymore because, you know, they dropped out of high school. So I get into bad things. I think they, I don't know if they quit those bad things, but, you know, they're going to the oil rigs now. So it's like, you know, they're, they're working full time doing stuff like that, making good money, but hopefully that'll last with them. But, uh, these two guys, they picked on me, right? So they would like, okay, they were the type of guys to, they were the ones, the troublemakers in school. So, and this was elementary, you know, so we were all kids. So, they were picking on me, and I, I remember, oh man, they picked on me bad. Like, I wouldn't say it was bad, but they, they tried. I would say they tried. When I was young, growing up, they would like, I guess because I would look at them and I'd be like, like, man, these motherfuckers are being rowdy. <laughs> you know, and then it's just like, like, what the fuck? And then they, I would just look at them, right, and they'd be like, you got a staring problem? I was like, no, I don't got a staring problem. You know, just trying to mind my own business now, you know, after that. And then just, I guess they, they would call me fat and just like, you know, I don't know. They would say, they would say something like, you know, they, they were hurtful, I guess. But I finally, I finally stood up to them. I was like, you know, okay. Cause there was this one dude, I'm not going to say his name, but he had his face <laughs> when we were young. He was calling me fat, so I was just like, I was like, the fuck you want, monkey face? You know, gorilla face, monkey face, whatever. And he was just like, you know, he was like, you know, weird face, and he was all, he was pissed off. He said, what the fuck you saying? He goes, you know what, meet me behind the gym after school. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, shit, where did I get myself into? And so I was like, you know, fuck that. I was like, I ain't going. <laughs> I'm not going to go. So, uh... We ended up, I ended up not going to behind the gym, and he ended up not going either. And somehow after that, I guess because they saw that I was like, you know, standing up for myself, they actually, they started picking on me, right? So, I mean, that's all it is, you know, you stand up for yourself, they have respect, you know, they'll start having the, it's just a man thing, a guy thing, you know? You start having respect for the other person because they're actually manning up and saying something back. And it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, don't get me wrong. It doesn't happen all the time. But sometimes it, it does happen. Because they just want to... S do and, and I think in some eyes of those people... And those guys that bully... In bullies' eyes... It's... They want you... They, they see a weak person and they just want to make them tough. Why? I don't know. It's just like being a coach or something. You want to coach them, train them... And get them to a spot where... They're just excellent. So... So after all that happened, uh, one of the guys, he was in MMA, so, you know, if I would have fought the other, it wasn't the guy that told me to meet him behind the gym, but it was actually his friend. His friend was in MMA. And so, I would have got my ass kicked, of course, because he knew what he was doing, he knew how to fight and stuff. But then, like, in that moment, like, around that time, he was just getting into boxing, he was just getting into kickboxing and MMA and stuff. He was, but he always did like judo or not judo. No, he did like karate, judo, uh, Muay Thai or something like that. He did something like that, and uh, and so he had all these belts and medals and stuff. And and as we, uh, as I started talking to him more and more, I started, uh, I, I hung out with them after school one day, you know, and that was when I finally. He he said that he was going to be doing something. And I was like, what are you going to be doing? And he's like, I'm, I got this uh, kickboxing thing that I do every day. I go in at like 6, 6.30. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, maybe I can go and watch. And he was like, yeah, sure, if you want to come. And so, you know, I we take, we, you know, we were still young. You know, it was 
It was elementary school, fifth grade, and I was just getting to know this guy. You know, sixth grade comes around, you know, and I'm finally like, okay, yeah, you know, I want I want to see what you do. So I went to the gym one day where we went, where he was staying at, and uh, or we're not staying at, but what he was, you know, where he worked out and stuff. And I finally saw what he would do, and I saw all these workouts, I saw all these guys, all these people, what they did, and I was just amazed, you know, I was just like, wow, you know, what if I become like that good, you know, because I always pictured myself as a really good fighter, but that's just the way I pictured myself, because I never trained, I never fought, I never did anything, and then, uh, finally, I met this dude, or not met this, I met the coach, I met this co his coach and I had asked him. I was like, I was like, hey, I, I want to start up. And he goes, oh, you want to start up? And he goes, you want to try it out today? And I was like, yeah, sure. He goes, all right, spit out your gum, take off your shoes, and get on the mat. And I was just like, like oh shit, you know? I was like, oh shit, this guy's like gonna fucking coach me, like he's gonna fucking push me around and shit. But I was like, you know, I kind of knew how that's how it's a it's a it's a mental thing. You gotta kind of get your mind into it. And so I was like, yes, sir. You know, right away, yes, sir. You know, you always got to show your respect when you're on the mat. And so right away, spit out my gum, took off my shoes. I even took off my socks. Got in there. I got in there and started sparring. Or not sparring. I wasn't sparring. But I got in there, started working out. First day. And I just had the best time of my life. Like, that's where it had all started. And then that week, you know, it was my first time going in. Every Friday they spar, right? So, and they still do this. To this day, they still do it. And they remodel. They moved places. They remodeled everything. It looks amazing. There's a cage in there now. So, that is awesome. There used to be a ring in the old place. Now, there's a cage in the new place. That's, that's, that's awesome. So, it's like an upgrade, kind of. But, it was my first time sparring on that Friday. We sparred. And, I guess they kind of thought, the guys that were there, they kind of thought, like, oh, look at this guy. You know, uh, I think like I guess they thought that I, you know, have been there for a while. So they started sparring me, boom, boom, knocking me around, boom, and I was just like, you know, covered up like this, like just not moving. You know, I was just still, and they're just knocking, like knocking the shit out of me, just boom, 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 boom. And I was just like, like, what the fuck do I do? I was never taught how to fight. I was just taught how to fucking work out. <laughs> so I was just there, just fucking balling up and then uh i wasn't crying or anything but i was you know bleeding from my nose had a black eye and it was my first time sparring in this new gym and then one of the guys were finally like hey 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 wait what calm down on him man he's uh he's a new guy he's he this is the first time sparring and then i just kind of just looked at him like yeah <laughs> my new this is my first time and i was all like bleeding and stuff and he was just, and it was a tall dude you know i'm only like five four so i'm not tall at all and so, I was sparring this dude, tall white dude. I, I can't, I don't know his name. I never got his name. <clears throat> but it was like, it was the, I've only seen him twice. So, I saw him that day, sparred him, you know, got my ass kicked by everyone that was in there. And then, you know, three years later, as I'm, you know, in it, I'm in it, going in it every single day. I never got to fight in competitions, but... You know, they couldn't match me up, and so, and I was actually getting really, really good. So I was, I was actually proud of myself. You know, my, my friend that got me in it, he got out, and I stayed in. So, I mean, that's how much commitment that I had to the, to the game, you know what I mean? So, being in it, you know, sparring, all those times that I've sparred every Friday for three years, Bringing friends in, friends getting back out, you know, just bringing more other friends in, them getting out. I finally saw the dude that I sparred a long time ago. And you want to guess what? Fucking whooped his ass. But he was a cool guy. I mean, it was like an achievement, you know what I mean? Sparring one guy from a long time ago. The first guy that I ever sparred to sparring him. It was probably my, I think it was my last spar too. When I finally got out. Because my my coaches ended up trading, or he ended up going somewhere else in a different town, and we ended up getting one of the the trainers or one of the uh, the athletes that were there that were that's been there forever too. <clears throat> he ended up taking over the gym, you know, because he has his own uh, company, 
two guys actually because they got their own companies and now they're they kind of renting the gym out or I think they bought the gym or something like that but uh, they switched coaches now and uh, so I finally got out but he was the last guy that ever sparred and I finally you know was able to turn it around and and I don't know I, I doubt he remembers because it was my first time it was just another day for that guy but uh it was the first time that I got to, you know, actually see something like that. And going against these guys that are pros, that was something awesome, too. I would travel to Abilene uh, to fight these pros, I believe. Yeah, I would fight these pros, and we would do, like, a competition. Not for a prize or anything, but it's just a little competition. Meet these actual UFC fighters. I can't remember his name, though. He's, he's like, a Chinese kind of dude. He looked Chinese. I, I didn't even know. I think he was Mexican shit. But, uh... It was badass to meet these guys. And to actually go against a pro. And... And win. You know, we we just did boxing. Because they didn't want us to do any kicking. In the MMA. You know, throwing each other on the floor or anything. So we just did straight boxing. But I... I blacked out. Because I didn't know, like, what, what was going on. Like... I didn't black out like getting knocked out. I blacked out as in my body and my brain. No. What's it called? Muscle memory, I guess. Muscle memory, it all just kicked in. So, like as soon as he would throw a jab or throw a right cross, whatever whatever he would throw, I would just like, you know, get out the way uh, just to form it or whatever this is called. Parry it. It's called parry. I'd parry his attacks. We're gonna uppercut him. I'll do a number two, which is a, uh, it's a cross and a and a left hook. Uh, well for, uh, for what is it? Orthodox? Yeah, orthodox. For orthodox, it's a cross and a left hook. Well, instead of doing that, cause my coaches, they would yell out, you know, they would yell out combos. Do this, do this, do this. And so when they yelled out the number two, I ended up throwing a cross, and ended up throwing an uppercut, and I ended up landing it. And you just see the guy, his face go back. The only time when I finally, like, okay, it was like maybe a minute into the fight, and when I finally started coming back too, I was winning. But whenever I started coming back too, it was the reason was because of that, was because he had punched me, and I, my whole head just went back. And that's when I was like, okay, you know, like, oh shit, like, okay, now I know where I'm at. Because I was nervous as fuck I was like I was I was really really nervous it was my first time fighting in front of a lot of people and my first time fighting an actual MMA fighter first time I mean I sparred a bunch of MMA fighters but they were like you know friends they were people that you know I sparred every single day or every single Friday and sometimes on Thursday whenever they wanted to put it in some extra sparring I sparred them, you know, but they were like people I, I, I knew what they were going to do and knew what, how they worked and stuff. So being able to go against new people in Abilene, it was actually really amazing. <clears throat> My girlfriend, she tells me, and I'm sorry that this video is going long. I, I don't know if y'all are actually going to watch this. On all, A lot of my videos, I got no views, but I'm still posting videos because this is what I like to do. And uh, so, my girlfriend was actually telling me, she goes, what happened? And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you used to have this dream, have this. And I was like, I was like, have you not been listening to me? I was like, my dream, I'm doing it right now. My dream is Herbalife now. Like, like it's not Herbalife. It's not just Herbalife that I want to make it about. It's about using Herbalife to make my dreams and goals come true. Use Herbalife to make this money that I'm going to work for so hard that, I, like, as hard as I can to make profit and not make a wage. You know what I mean? I'm not, and she was just, she was mad. <laughs> she was mad at me because, I mean, she doesn't see what I want to do. I mean, she sees it, but she doesn't believe in it. And I know she doesn't. She tells me that she does, but I, I understand that she doesn't. And I haven't been talking to her and I haven't been hanging out with her as much because I really am trying to make my herbal life something that I want to do every day. You know, it's just like having a job, a, a, a daily job, you know, working full time. 
You know, I'm going to be, if I'm going to have a job, I'm going to be out working all day, every day. So, in Herbalife, I'm able to hand out 100 flyers, and then I'm able to spend my time doing whatever. But, <clears throat> if I'm not, if I'm working a job, then I'm just, I'm never going to be free. Yes, I'll be making money, like, weekly, but, or, you know, two two weeks at a time, but... If I do Herbalife and I make my profits, I'll be making money. Maybe maybe month by month, but it'll be in large amounts. I'm going to try and get to that point. My One of my members, really close friend of mine, he actually, I, you know, I would hit him up, you know, every now and then. And I was like, hey, man, what are you doing? I was like, come, come, come out to the fit camp. I was like, I want to see you out there, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go do it. And then, uh... Even with handing out flyers, since he's my member, I'm like, hey man, I was like, let's go out there, let's go hand out some flyers, man. I'll get you some with your name, with your name and number on them. And I mean, it, nothing, nothing sticks to it, you know. He doesn't respond to him. He doesn't say anything. So what I do is, well, I mean, I just kept hitting him up, and then come to find out, like I look on my website and I find that there's a big spike in my in my downline volume. You know, because I'm just doing personal volume right now. Or trying to do personal volume. Trying to how to get those shakes out and stuff. But, I can't really do that unless I got clients and members and stuff. Well, clients. Unless I got clients and I don't have any of those right now. But, uh... I'm about to have one, though. I have a... Uh, one of my mom's friends, actually. They're going to be coming to the shop. And so, I'm going to... So, tell them about the products, the business, and all that. So... We're going to see where that goes from there. <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, really that's it. I just, I got a dream and I'm going to make it come true. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's going to happen. My dream will happen. I just got to give it time. And I do want to make this YouTube thing a big thing. Why? Because, I mean, it's just, I can go out doing my herbal life, come back and tell you guys about it. I necessarily don't think anyone will watch my video for this long. You know, it's already, what, about to be... Well, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut parts. So, right, what I'm seeing right now is like 30 minutes already. But, uh... That's basically all i got to say. I mean, that's all that's been happening right now. You know, I've been working out every Monday, Tuesday, and on... Excuse me. On Saturdays, we have our... Our fun, free fit camps, so... And what we do then is like, like last Saturday, since it's Monday, Saturday passed. On Saturday, we had we did this volleyball thing. So we would do volleyball. So when we say when one team would get, when one team lost, like they lost the point, they would have to do a workout and the other team would just do jumping jacks or just run in place. Well, they have to do like a small, like go to 10 workout. You know what I mean? Just a small little, and then we'd start playing again. Which was really fun because our fit camps are fit camps, you know, you're going to work out. So we added our workouts into the, the game. So it's really cool because next week we're going to be doing, uh, I think, dodgeball. Since it, it gets really hot outside, it's about, it gets about maybe 90, 98 degrees in the morning around 10 o'clock. So we're going to be playing dodgeball with, with these really squishy balls. And we're just going to dip them in water and throw them at each other so that we can cool down. And that or it's going to fucking, it's going to sting us because it's shit's going to hurt. <laughs> but that's all I got to say today. I want to thank you all for staying this long and watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. But, uh.